Hey guys, what's up? This is Mayank, a Google certified Android app developer and today I'm going to talk about Chrome custom tabs. So let's get started. What are Chrome custom tabs? Chrome custom tabs provides a way for an application to customize and interact with the Chrome activity on Android. This makes the web content feel like being a part of the application while retaining the full functionality and performance of a complete web browser. So why we use Chrome custom tabs? App developers face a choice when a user clicks on a URL to either launch a browser or in a web view. Both options has challenges. Launching the browser is heavy and also not customizable while WebView don't share state with the browser and add maintenance overhead. Chrome custom tabs give apps more control over their web experience and make transition between native and web content more seamless. Also, as you can see, Chrome custom tab can be faster than others. Okay, so I will show you how to use Chrome custom tabs. The first step for custom tabs integration is adding the custom tab support library to your project. To do that, go to apps and uh, open build.gradle file. Here I'm adding implementation com dot android dot support colon custom tabs colon 28.0.0 I'm adding 28 you can change it according to your target SDK value and then go to your main activity file in Java here it is so let me create a button first of all in XML file creating a button wrap wrap and then text I'm adding open custom tabs okay ideas btn um, that's it giving it a gravity center now back to this main activity thing let me take the button here R dot id dot bt and semicolon hmm. now set on click listener so yeah on this button click we will open custom tabs so I'm going to open a URL which is my website https colon slash slash www.androidbreakdown.com androidbreakdown.com is here so after choosing your url create a custom tab intent dot builder b i l d e r equals to new custom tabs builder and then semicolon now create an intent custom tabs intent custom tabs intent dot equals to builder dot build got it so we have custom tabs intent here to open a url we will use launch url method here custom tabs intent dot launch url give it a context and uh, parse the url URI dot parse url now we have done the coding stuff run this project and look at the results so here we have open custom tabs button let's click on it and uh, here we have uh, our website androidbreakdown.com as you can see it is way faster than webview and any other web browser close it we can also customize few things i'll give you an example of toolbar color and animations so to change the toolbar color we will add few lines in builder builder dot set toolbar color get resources dot get color and that r dot color dot color primary 
which is dark green i guess so run this project and open custom tabs uh, we have a customized toolbar color which is dark green so yeah uh, using this we can change the toolbar color in custom tabs and to add animation or transaction between your app and custom tabs we can add few more lines in builder builder dot set start animation it's a function so first of all we will give context get application context comma i will use default animation files which is in android dot r dot anim dot slide in left comma android dot r dot anim dot slide out right so uh, the custom tabs will come from the left side and uh, will go out into the right side as we have given the animation you can also set your custom animation files here and uh, to exit we can add set exit animations same as above we need to give context get application context comma android dot r dot nm dot uh, slide out right comma android dot r dot nm dot uh, slide in left okay using these both functions in builder we can set animations or transaction between your app and uh, custom tabs so that's it for today i hope you like this video thanks for joining and so many videos are on the way for pro members like you and don't forget to follow me on instagram bye bye